This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 33 of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. Alright, we're going to start by first making a box, use auto grid, and just kind of make it right here in the middle, and drag it up. Convert to edges with poly, edges, select all, uh, chamfer. And just copy it the same distance the other side. And make sure it doesn't pop out. That's good. Next, let's go to cylinder. Mm. Create a cylinder right in the middle here. To the left. Okay, bring the radius down, height segments down to 1. Bring the height to about 1, looks pretty good. And the sides to about 8. Convert to editable poly, select the polygon, edges, chamfer. Give it kind of a large chamfer. Uh, inset it about 1.22. Extrude that about one and give it the same bevel. Okay, copy it to the other end and copy it to the middle. Clone it over here and just move all the stuff about a bit. All right. Um, next, let's create some, I'm going to create a cylinder, about mm, that big, alright, we can increase the height a bit, convert to editable poly, polygon, select the top there, chamfer, okay, Call it rivet. Okay. Select this big piece right here and do the placement tool. So I select a source, pick distribution one. Oops, pick distribution one rivet. And hit place. And just place them in the corners. Place them. There we go. Alright, you can exit out of that and delete that one. Looks pretty good. And actually, I want to scale these down a bit here and just make two of them so it fills up the space a bit better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, next, let's make a kind of box thing here. So select this polygon, inset, and inset about that much. Edge, bring the edge up about there. Looks decent. Okay, give it a bevel outward a bit. Okay, extrude it about mm, extrude it about 1.5. Okay, bevel inset. Give it a kind of small inset bevel negative 0.11 for the height. Okay, and extrude it back in a bit more, one last 
bevel, okay. And let's build a box. Let's build it right in here. Okay, I should decrease the height a bit. Alright, convert to editable poly, polygons at the top, edges, chamfer. Okay, polygon, just like that. Inset it, not too much. I use the scale on the local to get it about maybe half in the middle there. And just how we want to do this. Just scale it back out a bit. Extrude inward. Okay. Uh, create a cylinder using auto grid right in the middle. About that big. Bring it out. E uh, local. Make sure angle snaps on. Rotate it 90 degrees. And bring it up. And increase the height a bit so it fills out the entire thing there. Convert to editable poly. Select there. And just extrude it out. Just to make a kind of switch. Edges and chamfer it. Okay. Select all of that and copy it down. Six times. And working on the local, copy it over again. Okay, uh, turn angle snap off and just give each one of these its own individual rotation. Just to make it look a little better. so it looks like it's broken or something. Alright, now create a cylinder using auto grid right on the edge there. Bring it all the way up and then decrease the radius so it's like a, a wire. And sink it in so it doesn't protrude. And then copy it over. Okay. Looks good. Next, you're going to want to take uh, these and get them. And just kind of move them to little different positions. Just again. Customizing. Alright, that's pretty good. And lastly, I want to rotate on. Just rotate them using screen if you can. But sometimes it doesn't work. That's pretty good. Left to view. Alright. Um, looking good. Uh, next, let's build a little box right here. Okay, rotate it. And sink it in just a bit. Alright, convert to editable poly, polygons at the top, edges, actually control A and just chamfer it all a bit. Alright, that'll be it for part 33, I'll see you in part 34.